I want to take some time to address this uh, particular comment. I have since deleted it because um, it does not need to be given any more traction than what it got. Um, these are the kinds of people that will blaspheme the Holy Spirit and expect that what they're doing will not be held to account. And then they will turn around and tell you that you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit because you don't call him a female. I don't understand fully, but I went to check out their channel, and of course it is a woman uh, claiming she's some sort of a preacher pastor thing, um, and that she has the truth because she's read all these other books that were taken out of the Bible. And I'm trying to figure exactly how um, things were taken out of something that God put together, but hey, that's beyond me. Anyway, um, I thought of, of whether or not I should. And I'm, I'm convinced that I should address this. There are so many people that are hell-bent, literally hell-bent, on defaming, insulting, blaspheming, not just God, but they will commit themselves to the most unforgivable sin in blaspheming the Holy Spirit. They will render the Holy Spirit to nothing more than their toy, a plaything statement of their own imagination and expect people to think that they are somehow anointed or blessed. I want to make one thing abundantly clear to that female. For what you just did and doubled and tripled down on, the word specifically says you will never be forgiven. I can say unequivocally right here right now that you have indeed blasphemed the Holy Spirit and you 100% are going straight to hell. You will not be forgiven. It says so in the book. This is not me making it up. And I don't understand how people can play with their soul so frivolously. I know there are going to be people that come on here. You're not the judge. You're not the jury. I'm not judging anything. I'm stating fact based on what God said. Based on what God said, not what I said. If you don't like it, take it up with God, talk to Him, and if He needs to correct me, He's going to smack me down. But He said, the one sin you will not be forgiven for is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. And if you read what she said, she has indeed committed that crime. I do not feel bad because they've decided this. Not only decided to triple, quadruple down on it, to the tune of seven replies that I have since deleted. I do not want that on my channel. I do not want that in my purview. I don't want that to be seen by anybody. I feel almost like reading it and regurgitating it is akin to doing it myself, but I, I know better. But you're going to see more and more of this happen as time goes on. They're not going to stop. They're going to continue. And they're going to keep thinking that somehow they're in the right. If that's the case, then you keep on, keep right on, go on down that road. Ain't nobody going to step in front of you. Because you're at this point now, running out of road. And uh, the time for beckoning has long passed, if this is you that agree with that particular statement that she made. But the rest of us do not be afraid to call out what the Bible has called out. Don't be afraid of it do it. You're just repeating what the good Lord said. If they got a problem with that, you know what they can do? Take it up with God. 